everyone, Morgan Hibbs here with Lynn County Farm Bureau. I'm excited to be visiting your classroom virtually for another Ag in the Classroom lesson. Today we are going to learn about soybean germination, looking at how plants know how to germinate towards the sun, sending those shoots up emerging from the ground and sending the roots down uh, into the soil. I'm excited to uh, do this fun activity with you, so let's get started. Before we begin, I would like you to go ahead and watch the soybean video provided for you. And I would like you to think about the following questions. Brainstorm as a class. How do soybean seeds, or any seed really, know which way to grow? What does germination mean? Do you think the planter puts the seeds in the ground in an upright position? Could the soybean germinate down instead of up towards the sun? Once you've brainstormed those questions as a class and watched the video, uh, you can resume play on this video and we'll continue learning about soybeans. Soybeans are used uh, to help provide us with many things that we use every day. There are many byproducts made from soybeans. A byproduct is a product that is a made or secondary product to a um, primary product. So soybeans are the seeds, and we can get soybean oil, vegetable oil. Uh, we can uh, make biodiesel with soybeans, which is a fuel that can go in trucks, semis, and school buses. We can also use soybeans to make crayons and candles. Soybeans are used to feed livestock. Pigs and chickens and turkeys really like to eat soybeans. And you might have tried a fresh soybean called edamame. We have lots of fun activity sheets in your kit or available to download from the website that include uh, different products made from soybeans. So this is a soybean uh, worksheet that is filling in the blank. We have a soybean word search. Soybean, uh, looking at the different parts of a soybean. Soybeans food, feed, and fuel. So trying to name uh, different ways or different products from soybeans and how many words can you make from soybeans. So this is just a fun activity sheet. And products made from soybeans, unscrambling the words. Those are just for uh, additional fun and to uh, extend your learning. So back to the way that soybeans and other seeds grow. So you might not know it, but plants are able to uh, sense the environment and respond appropriately. One of the key parameters that every plant must respond to is the direction of gravity. This is known as geotropism. By sensing gravity, plants can turn sideways, upside down, etc. So no, no matter what way the seed is pointed, it will uh, sense gravity and pull the roots down where it's going to collect its water resources and it's going to also collect the food, that uh, nutrients from the soil. And the shoots are going to grow up out of the ground, uh, extending to reach the sun where they will then uh, photosynthesize to make sugars for the plant. Uh, so soybeans and other plants have a direction that they are going to be uh, growing from with that sense of environment uh, to sense gravity. But it doesn't matter which way we put the soybean seed into the ground or any seed. You'll notice that there is a black little line on the seed this is called the helum. The helum is where it was connected to the soybean pod. The soybean seed, once it collects water from the soil and heat, it can start to germinate. Germination means to emerge from the seed. The plant begins to grow. Once it begins to grow, the shoot will grow up and the roots will grow down. But what if the planter drops the seed upside down? Well then, we're going to do an experiment to see how that plant starts to grow in the direction that it's needed to reach the sun and the roots to grow down. Because the planter has the seeds in a box, and you might have seen a, a modern planter in the fields before, 
there are boxes along the back that hold the seeds and they drop one seed at a time. Tractors are very precise today. We have GPS systems that help us navigate the fields. We have uh, tools that help to drop only, there's a disc that holds one seed and drops it into the ground. And then there's a small little shovel behind the seed dropping that will cover the soil, uh, the seed back up with soil so that we have that seed on soil contact. Uh, and with that, even though it's very uh, high tech and it's pretty precise, we can't always determine what way the seed is going to drop into the ground. And so this way though, we know that seeds uh, will respond to gravity and we're going to prove that with today's activity. So for today's activity, you need a CD case, soybean seeds, permanent marker, a paper towel, and some water. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you how to set up the science experiment. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what today's science experiment is going to prove, we are going to put four seeds into our CD case in all different directions, placing that helium in different directions in each of the corners of the CD case. Then we're going to place this by the window and making sure it stays moist so that way it has water to germinate because the two things plants need to germinate are water and heat. Place it by the window and then every week we're going to turn or rotate the CD case and watch to see what the seeds end up doing, how they respond to the turning of the CD case. To begin, we are going to write our name and the date on our CD case. We are also going to number the four corners. Okay, next we are going to open the CD case. And place our napkin folded or paper towel folded into the CD case. Since we want the soybeans to be on the number side, I'm going to wet it over here. Once you wet your paper towel, you can fold in the sides so that way it fits just right into our CD case. Remember the black line, the helium? We're going to place it into the CD case in all different directions. So that one is pointed down. This one is going to be pointed up. This one's going to be pointed this direction. This one is going to be pointed the opposite direction. Then I'm going to close my lid. And if you would like to secure this, you can put a piece of tape on every side so that way it stays closed and the moisture stays inside the CD case. You're going to place this by the window and every week rotate it and see what happens to the plant as it uh, responds to gravity and try to uh, see if the theory is correct that the plant will know which direction to grow. For additional learning, I have included the uh, link to this Iowa Ag Today. This is going to be a great resource to expand your knowledge. On the first page on the inside, there's a section on soil called What's the Matter? Uh, we are also in this publication learning about technology, why things are grown where they are, so looking at geography. And then there's also a really great component in the middle that talks about careers. Uh, so I encourage you to take a look at this and expand your knowledge on uh, farming here in Iowa and technology and agriculture and how modern day practices look today. Thank you everyone for participating in our fun activity. Uh, if you take pictures of your science experiment, I would love to see how your plants grew uh, and I can't wait to visit your class virtually next month. Thank you.